Hey guys, Dancy2, back with more Let's Play Golden Sun, Dark Dawn. Last time, uh, we played around with some planets in a four element part of the dungeon, and today, we're going into the middle. Uh, okay. Like anything else in the world, I think we just have to give it a good smack. Yeah! And we go down. Whee! And I guess Mercury's gonna take us down with him. Thank you, good sir. Continue onwards. Alright, what do we got? When the sun hides behind the moon, a great power covers the world in shadow. Now, that doesn't look like a sun to me. Okay, I guess it is a sun. Uh, let's just go this way then. Ah, very large sign because I think this is the first time we've seen a large crystal. One that doesn't shatter after use that you can use an unlimited number of times. I think this is the first time we've seen it. Normally they're like in Air's Rock where in the first game, they're in the, they're in your first town, they're in Vale. Or they're in the big rocks or in the towers and whatnot, but we have we don't have any of those here. So I guess this is the first time we've seen it if I remember correctly. Looks a bit weird, but eh. Hello. Uh, sure. Part of Luna Tower. Yeah, we already done that. I guess this is what they needed us for. Now the question is, what goes where? Yeah, maybe we should stop. I'm gonna kick you into the next pit next time you say that. Alright, now, as much as I like to stand around and do nothing, let's go see what's down here. I believe this is just another crystal. Oh no, this is, uh, this is the solution. Holy Flames right reveals proper alignment of the four great powers. So, if we move this light around, we will see that... It looks to be water to the upper right. That's definitely Earth. That's fire. And that is winds. Now, here's the funny part about all of this. You remember those positions? I'm actually going to switch my screens and show you guys a little something here. Okay, so what you're seeing is the map screen. This is typically what is on the top screen. Now, I have put one gen on standby to show you this. If you hit Y, you will actually see this little thing showed up that will show all of your character's uh, current positions, how many gen you have on standby, and even little icons of what gen you have on standby. But behind all that is actually the graph that is on the floor right now. I think they missed a golden opportunity here to have something that says, like, lower your map and see, or, like, close your map and see with your true eyes, and then it would show you this, and this would be the solution, because this is the solution. I just went up the stairs, because I forgot you guys can't see what I'm doing. But yeah, that's the solution to the puzzle, and I think they missed a golden opportunity for it. I don't know. But, uh, I'm gonna flip my screens back around, and we'll magically be teleported up the stairs because I'm a derp. Okay, back now. 
I, I really think they messed that up. I really do. Earth there. Water there. Wind here. And fire. Therefore, powers combined, we create the sun and reveal something interesting. The world is covered in shadow by the moon. And the door opens. The Alchemy Dynamo. It's good to be working together. Why would we? I'm sure our promise is the least of our concerns right now. Surely you are not even this dumb. Yeah, it does. No, I, I think reason is the last thing on his mind. Hey Alex, how you doing? Good to see you're back. Oh, come here, give me a hug. I need one right now. Good to know. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Yeah. Oh, look at you. Fancy teleport bullshit. Yes, I believe it's time you two figured out exactly who's in charge. Our fight with Blados and Chalice at long last. First and foremost... Tyrell, get your ass in here. Alright, these two are basically the reason why, up until this point, I've kind of been making a big deal about fighting non-adepts. Because they're not adepts. Our primary antagonists pose no threat to us whatsoever. And that's kind of sad. Unlike normal... Unlike almost every other normal human, though, they do have specific weaknesses, which is kind of interesting, but not really that important. Blades is weak to fire, and Chalice is weak to water. Um, and that's about it. They both use uh, special items in combat, obviously, because they don't have Psy Energy to do anything else with. But aside from that, there's not really much beyond that. This is the main reason why I've kept uh, the Sword of Dusk on Tyrell for this long, is because Sunset Burst is going to murder Blados. And obviously he's going to hopefully take care of Chalice in short order with uh, Diamondberg. I'm going to try and get Karras in here to get some buffs up on everybody. 
Anyway, punishment. If I remember correctly, this has a chance to insta-kill. But I might be wrong about that. Either way, it just does a ton of damage. Illusion Perfume, this is one of her special items. Causes Dilute on a single target and can affect the uh, two around them. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with standard attacks with him for right now. For some reason, the game is slowed down, but not really that big of a deal. Yeah, let's go with the Hamburg. And actually, let's switch out Sevita. Beast Form is powerful, but not necessarily in this fight. In this fight, it really is Tyrell and Amity's show. Cold Forge? Oh, okay, I got it. I, I didn't go far enough. They, they look, the icons look a little similar. Get Tyrell buffed up, because he doesn't have his, uh... He doesn't have the damage increase. Shadow Shield. This is their shielding ability. All bosses, a lot of bosses have it. I think it's just like 60% or so. It's a good amount of damage reduction. Yeah, it's at least 50%. Oh, please don't insta kill Karis. Oh, a ton of damage though. Uh, if he doesn't get it off, Blados also has an exclusive item called Spark Shuriken. It'll inflict stun on one target automatically, and it's pretty nasty. It's probably the worst thing in this fight. And I really wish I could get a fucking Unleash off on them. Impact on Amity. You make with the heals, because Karis took a big hit there. Oh, come on, no, do not two-turner, Ah, oh. Damn it, now I gotta get Matt in here. Okay, that's better. Scornful, Scornful Crest, this is her ability. I believe it can inflict Delude? Or it just does damage. Not sure. But yeah, now I gotta get Matt in here to pick her up because he decided to whore her out like hell. I'm not sure if Sevita's turns in Beast Form count while she's in the back rows. I don't think they do, but I could be wrong. I don't typically have her in Beast Form in the back row. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to annihilate Chalice really fast, because I'm just doing solid damage to her. I don't have to wait for stuff. That being said, Matt might actually be a good... Ah, you do have revive. Okay. I was going to say, Matt, Matt will be good for helping mop up uh, Latos once, once Chalice goes down. Okay, come on now. If I can get Sunset Burst off, I can do a ton of damage. The problem is getting it to work, because I don't have a ton of Unleashed Boosting gear at this point in the game. I mean, I have a decent amount, but it's not a lot. Alright, I'm buffing three people, so all of a sudden I gotta go for high impact, because that'll give me better dividends. There's the Spark Shuriken. Who's your t oh god, no, not Tyrell. Okay, it didn't... Oh, no, it did stun him. Yeah, the, the real problem with this fight is it's just... It, it's an annoyance fight. Uh, let's pull Matt back out for right now. I don't like having a non-healer. Mainly because they're, they're, I do have a bunch of squishy targets up front. There's, I don't have a... Like, my, my targets aren't massively tanky right now. Like, Karis and Amity can... Like, uh, Amity has good defenses, but he doesn't have good support in his equipment right now. So he's he's kind of got that issue running with him. Actually, no, Karis can heal. What the fuck am I talking about? Get Matt back in here. Karis is perfectly capable of healing. I forgot, she hasn't lost her healing yet. She will eventually, but not yet. Come on, you have got to be close to death. Okay, good, same target. Okay, 
way. Come on, Tyrell. Yeah, it's weird. The Spark Shuriken's uh, stun seems to last longer than stuff. I'm not sure if that's actually hard-coded into the game or if it's just me being weird. There we go. Now she's down. Thank God. Finally. And just in time. Obviously, he was about to run out of side energy. Oh, Firecracker. That's going to do a little bit of damage. Not a lot. I really wanted to get a sunset off on him, but whatever. Uh, do you have enough? You do have enough to restore him. Thank God. Okay, get that off. Uh, Karis, everyone's looking good. Get us up with another buff. Reset our timers. Synergy Grenade. Like I said before, at this point in the game, Synergy Grenades are not going to do enough damage to actually pose a big problem to your Psy Energy. Uh, Amity, you are just completely out of usage. Sevita, finish him off. Because he, he, he's, he's literally out of usage. He doesn't have any more Psy Energy, and him staying out here any longer isn't going to help with DPS. Uh, keep our defenses up, I guess. See if I can't max out our damage. I just finish him this turn. Alright, we both went for defense. <laughs> That's kind of silly. Oh, and I guess we got him. Did we get him down or no? Okay, her timer does not stop in the back row. Which is bad, which means I need to get her out of here, actually, because she lost all of her gin when she did that. Uh, Reef, come out here and just kind of turtle up, I guess. Actually, you know what? No. If, if anyone's going to turtle up, it should be Amity. Uh, just do a quick heal on Karis. I don't know, Matt, get, might, Matt might make the finish on this. Oh, there's Firecracker. That's not going to do too much. There he is. Just didn't get a sunset off on him. Kind of disappointed, because that can do ridiculous damage. Anyway, everybody levels up. Yep, literally everybody... <laughs> Get Spark Shurken and Illusion Perfume, just like the Cyanergy Gaze. We only get one. So I'm probably going to be selling them. <laughs> yeah, you guys never stood a chance. Without Cyanergy, it was kind of a one... It was a one-sided beatdown. I mean, you took down Karis at one point, but that's just because you kind of hoard her out. Yeah, that was probably your biggest mistake as well. Um, who was in charge of- oh god, no. Damn it! Back row was supposed to be in charge of watching him, what the hell are you guys doing? One does not fuck with Alex. Good to know. Of course. But what do you stand to gain from working with them? Uh oh. 
Don't do it! Think about everything we've seen. Nothing good can come of this. You're dead to me. More so than you have ever been before in my life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Or rather, he's done it. Yeah, I, I think we need to get out of here. Good. As I do. Yes, you did. You fools, he's behind us! Arcanus. Got their backs. To be fair, they never wanted the uh, lighthouses breached either, but I suspect there's far more malice in this place than those. Of course you have. Let's get out of here before we all die. says Farewell Alex see you later shithead Yeah He ain't all powerful Hey, who said you guys could come with us? Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Stupid puzzles! Hey, wait, that, that sound is all of Seven Says Gen resetting. <laughs> I was not supposed to do that. Well, I, uh... I guess I got some time before this whirlwind wears off. Uh, okay, there we go. Don't you dare! I'm still in the process of puzzling over here. Puzzle solving, whatever you want to call it. 
Ah, oh, just in time. Anyway, the uh, the Luna Tower has uh, something a little bit special in it. It is my personal theory that the ancients who created it knew that the power it would bring would not be able to easily be stopped by anyone at any time. So they left something within it to fight the power with, to fight the power that the tower would create. Something that could be used to stop it if it was ever used for wrong purposes or unsealed in a wrong way. Something so powerful that it could easily break anything else. Anything in its path. What is that power? Well, it is a power we have seen before. My name is Eclipse. When the world is at its darkest, I shall appear. The Return of the Great Dragon. That's my personal belief, at least. It might just be because it's the Lunar Tower and it's Eclipse, but I like to think it's here by design. The most powerful summon in the game, at least in terms of raw Jin to power dam, Jin to damage kind of thing. Three Mercury, two Mer or two Mercury, three Jupiter. Blah! I'm just tongue-tied all over the place today. Anyway, if you don't get that now, you can't actually come back in here, I don't think, so grab it while you can. Alright, back downstairs with crazy music. Ah! Not sure if I'll ever end up using Eclipse. You do get him significantly later in this game, and I, I feel like that's a better thing. Because, uh, getting it when you did in Lost Age actually was kind of early, honestly. But here I feel like his placement is a little bit better. So, it, it gets that point, at least. I'm leaving. By the way, you already ascended. We, we saw it from the outside. That is certainly a tower. Alright, we're back in Benelisk. <laughs> Next time, we're gonna go spring those two out of jail because we probably should have been doing that for a very long time now. See you guys then.